What you're about to see is a world first. It wasn't designed in New York, or London, or in Munich. It was conceptualised on a paper napkin on an aeroplane, 30,000 feet above New Zealand's Southern Alps, after a day in Christchurch reviewing the problems and challenges posed by the earthquakes there. Realising the idea had real practical appeal, John Hambling, Dean Cook, Andrew Moss and Dominic Sutton developed the thought further. The first team swiftly turned concept into reality and produced a working model of the world's first re-levelable residential concrete flooring system. Essentially, the Firth Ribraft TC3 floor is a twin slab system. In the event of the house settling following an earthquake, it can be easily re-leveled using a Firth patented jacking system that forces the slabs apart until the top slab, with house still intact, is level again. The void between the two slabs is then filled with a high flow grout. There is no limit to the number of times a house can be re-leveled and no internal walls or cladding are removed. People in Christchurch can now confidently rebuild in TC3 zones knowing they have a foundation system from Firth that will protect their investment. Typically, construction is completed in just five days and costs considerably less than other solutions. The system is not limited to residential construction, nor is it confined to Christchurch, as many parts of New Zealand have been identified as having similar liquefaction potential as Christchurch, and it is expected over time many councils across the country will define land within their region as TC1, TC2 and TC3. Well, I think it's some uh, splendid uh, innovation uh, by Firth. It is a proprietary product that they've developed uh, to meet a, a requirement that we have to have uh, stronger foundations for TC3 properties. And what they've been able to do is take about 50% of the cost out of uh, a, a usual uh, response to that type of land condition. So yeah, I think it's a very positive day. Uh, probably two thirds of all the TC3 houses in New Zealand, uh, sorry, in Christchurch that need to be rebuilt, uh, can be rebuilt during the system and throughout New Zealand. It would be available for areas where liquefaction could be a problem.